Here, let's discuss about the specific gravity. So, what is the meaning of this specific gravity? So, you can see the definition, what is the specific gravity? You can see that specific gravity is the ratio of the mass of the solid to the mass of equivalent equal volume of water. So, what is the meaning of this mass of solid to the equal volume of water? Just I am writing it, showing it here. So, G is equal to, see the numerator we have, mass of solid. In the denominator we have, mass of, mass of equal volume, equal volume of water. So, let us say for example, I am having certain volume of container. Let us say the volume of this container is suppose V. So, if I am putting here solid, okay, I am putting this, I am filling up this uh, volume, this uh, particular container having a volume V with a solid and whatever the mass I am getting and that is the mass of the solid M. I am just, I can say it is a MS also, mass of the solid MS. Okay, I will write the mass of the solid as MS. See, many students get confused here with the S. S refers to the solid, not soil. Okay, so mass of the solid. Now, suppose this container, when it was filled with the solid, is having a mass of MS. Now, when I am emptying this container, the solid, and I am putting water in place of that, in place of soil in that particular container. Now, when I am putting the water in this particular container, it will have some mass, obviously, and that mass is the a mass of the water. And that ratio of the mass of the solid to the mass of the uh, water, uh, keeping the volume as constant, that ratio is referred to as a Z value, mass of the, oh sorry, specific gravity. So in both the cases, the mass is same. So mass of the solid divided by mass of the water. Okay, so mass of the solid by mass of the water, the condition is that volume is constant or the volume is kept same. Now, I can write this like this also. This is not the standard or the most used formula of the Z. The most used formula is something like this. So, mass of the solid by mass of the water. If I divide this by V, I am dividing this also by V. So, mass by volume, it is a density. So, mass of the solid by volume. So, what it will give me? It will give us the density of solid divided by mass of the water by volume, density of the water. Okay, so you can just insert, you can write it as rho s by rho w. So the specific gravity, it can also be said that it is the ratio between the density of the solid to the density of the water. Okay, and we know that here there is a relation between the density and unit weight. What is the relation? Unit weight gamma is equal to rho into z. Okay, so that means what, what you can say about this rho? Rho can be written as gamma divided by z where gamma is the unit weight so so density of the solid by density of the water so what can you write about this also so this it can write down as density of the solid divided by z here unit weight of water can be written as density unit weight of the water divided by z that means unit weight of the solid divided by unit weight of the water so you can define the specific gravity in terms of the unit weight also so, how we can say specific gravity is the ratio between the unit weight of solid to the unit weight of water. So, finally what I can say is that your Z is equal to density of water, sorry, density of solid by density of water or unit weight of solid divided by unit weight of water. Okay, and so earlier we have discussed in the previous sections the block diagram. In the block diagram you can see that or you might have noticed that in the block diagram, suppose this is your solid, uh, this is your block diagram. Here we have our solid, here we have our water, here we have our air. So, the total density of this soil mass, when it is going to change? The solid, it is a fixed. You cannot change the solid, okay, because matters can neither be created nor be destroyed. That means the solid particles in the soil, it will always remain constant. What is going to change? The water is going to change. If if there is a rain, suppose because of the rain, the water will be going inside of the soil. So what will happen? The total weight of the soil is going to increase or decrease depending on what? Depending upon addition or the removal of the water. If you are adding water, total mass of the soil will become more. If you are removing water by evaporation, 
the total weight of the water, the weight of, total weight of the soil is going to change. But the weight of the solid is always going to remain the same. That means what? The, if the mass of the solid is going to remain same, or if density of the solid is going to remain same, or unit weight of the solid is going to remain same, that means the specific gravity of the solid, or simply you can say it is a specific gravity of a particular soil mass, it will always remain the constant. Okay, because Z is related with the solid and solid will always remain same. Okay, so that being said, so what are the various standard values of the Z for various soils you can see in this particular table. So you might have noticed that the Z value is always ranging between 2.6 and 2.8. Okay, for a soil, the Z value of the soil is ranging between 2.6 and 2.8. Now, so this is about your specific gravity. Now, next. We are going to discuss about the mass specific gravity. Similar to this, we have one more concept known as mass specific gravity. It is written as Zn. So, this is the specific gravity, this is the mass specific gravity. So, what is the basic difference between these two? So, let's see. So, your Zm, the mass specific gravity Zm, is the ratio between the unit weight of the unit weight of the soil divided by unit weight of water or sorry density of soil by density of water or unit weight of the soil divided by unit weight of the water. So what difference you can observe between these two? The mass specific gravity, the normal one, it is related with the solid, the mass specific gravity is related with the soil. So can the unit weight of the soil change? Yes, it can change because of if addition of the water, the mass will become more, so Gm, uh, sorry, the density will become more and Gm will become more automatically. So, that means what the Gm value, the mass specific gravity of the soil, it is going to change. Subjected to what? Subjected to density of the soil increase or decrease. Okay? Density of solid cannot increase or decrease, but density of the soil, it is going to increase or decrease depending upon the presence or the depending upon addition or the removal of the water. That means what you can say? You can say that the mass specific gravity Zm, it is not a constant value. It can change. Okay? So remember Z, the specific gravity, it will always remain constant. Mass specific gravity Zm, it is going to change depending upon additional removal of the water. Now, so next, we will are going to establish a relation between the specific gravity Z and the mass specific gravity Zm. Okay, so what is the relation between this Z and Zm that we are going to see now? So Zm is density of the soil by density of the water. So from the fundamental relations that we have, in the fundamental relations we have got that density of the soil. What is the density of soil? We have a relation that your normally the bulk density is given by Z plus Se divided by 1 plus e rho w or gamma is equal to z plus se by 1 plus e gamma w that's also the same thing so zm zm it can be written as what so unit of the soil that means the bulk density so this thing can be replaced by this thing so you can write z plus s into e divided by 1 into e 1 plus e rho w and this whole thing has to be divided by rho w so that means what you can do you can cancel out this rho w and this rho w. So what if you cancel out those things, what will be left out? You left out with mass specific gravity Zm is equal to Z plus S into E divided by 1 plus E. Okay, so Zm is equal to Z plus Se by 1 plus E. Okay, now if I am saying that the soil is dry, suppose for dry, dry soil. Okay, for the dry soil, what will happen? So, we have studied earlier that for the dry soil, the S value is always equal to 0. The degree of saturation is 0. So, if you make degree of saturation equal to 0, so what will happen? What will happen to the Zm? Your Zm will be Z divided by 1 plus E. Okay, but if you know this, obviously you can derive this also. So, you just remember that for the dry soil, the special case, Zm is equal to Z by 1 plus E. So if you know the concept behind the Z and Zm, you can easily solve this kind of a 
problem. Okay. So next we are going to see a problem based on the relation between Z and Z, I mean, Z and Z, I mean this particular things. So write down these things. I'm going to clear the screen. So write down the next question. The question is given to you in the screen. It's given. The dry soil has a mass specific gravity of 1.35. So it's given here mass specific gravity mass specific gravity let's call it as gm the mass specific gravity is given as 1.35 if the specific gravity of solid so specific gravity of solid so specific gravity of solid that means z Specific gravity of solid it is given as 2.7. Determine the void ratio of the soil. So we need to find out what is the void ratio if you know these two parameters. So it's further it was given in the question that the soil is in the so the dry soil. It is said in the question that the soil is dry. So it is also said that soil is dry. Okay. Now, so in order to solve this problem, you will have to know what is the formula of the mass specific gravity and what is the formula of the specific gravity Z. So the difference is that when you say it is a specific gravity Z, okay, it is the unit weight of the solid divided by unit weight of the water. And if you say it is a mass specific gravity Zm, it is the unit weight of the soil mass divided by unit weight of the water. And we know that the soil is composed of the solid water and air and this unit weight of the soil is subjected to change depending upon addition or removal of the water but gamma solid of the soil it is not going to change because if you remove the water also solid will be remaining the same only the void or it may increase or decrease but unit weight of the, the unit weight of solid or the content of the solid will always remain the same so we'll be using this logic in order to solve this problem so here it is given that the mass specific gravity Zm is 1.35 and we know that the mass specific gravity Zm is the unit weight of soil divided by unit weight of water. Now since the soil is in a dry state here then unit weight of soil will be unit weight of the dry soil that will be equivalent. So since the soil is now dry, okay, now we, we know that, we know that Zm, the mass specific gravity Zm will be unit weight of the dry soil divided by unit weight of water. Now, unit weight of the dry soil, gamma d, it is Z into gamma w by 1 plus E. So, we know that this is Z gamma w divided by 1 plus E, whole divided by gamma w. Now you can see here that gamma w and gamma w will get they will get cancelled. So what will be left? Z by 1 plus E will be left. Now here Z means the specific gravity, the mass is uh, the normal one, the mass specific gravity of the solid. So this has, gives us a relation between the Zm and the Z. So if you substitute the values here, we'll get if you want to find out the void ratio, you can rearrange the equation or you can directly solve this by the calculator. But in the exam, I recommend you to use the directly using the calculator because if you simplify, you will be simply wasting your time. So anyway, the Zm value was given as 1.35. This must be equal to Z. Z is 2.7 divided by 1 plus E. Now, if you simply put this in your calculator, you will be directly getting the E value. So let's see. 1.35 equal to 2.7 divided by 1 plus x. So if you solve this in your calculator, you are supposed to get the E value as 1. Okay, so the E value you are getting as 1 or if you want to write down in the percentage, it is your 100 percentage and it is a valid. Okay, E value, the range, if you recall the E, e the very range of the E is greater than 0. That means it can take up a value, any value greater than it can be 100 percent also, it can be more than 100 percent also, it does not matter, it is a value to raise. Anyway, in this particular question, we have the E equal to 1. And remember the concept behind the mass specific gravity, which is unit weight of soil divided by unit weight of water, and the specific gravity of solid is the or 
specific gravity of solid, you can simply call it as specific gravity also without calling of solid. Anyway, the specific gravity of solid or simply specific gravity is unit weight of solid and unit weight of water. And this Z value is not going to change, but Zm value is going to change depending upon the variation of water. So, write all these things, I am going to clear the screen.